assalamu alaikum students i am dr shafin zulfikar and we were studying transport mechanisms we have done active transport now today we are going to study what is passive transport so passive transport is a transport of ions or molecules across the uh, membrane without the use of energy active transport uses energy in order to transport a substance whereas passive transport they do not need energy then passive transport was divided into simple passive transport and then facilitated passive transport now we will study what is simple passive transport it is the movement of ions or molecules from a region of their high concentration to a region of low concentration without the expenditure of energy it is simply the movement of ions from a high concentration to a low concentration it is opposite to active transport active transport is against the concentration gradient from low to high whereas passive transport whenever there is in one area when if there is a low concentration of an ion and in one area there is high concentration of ion the ions will move down the concentration gradient to the area where there is low uh, amount present and it is simply the we are also call it diffusion so it does not need energy it just moves across the membrane movement is towards the concentration gradient until the equilibrium is reached the ions or the substances will move continuously from a low from a high concentration or low until equilibrium is reached okay so passive transport in passive transport there is simple passive transport and facilitated transport simple is movement of ions from molecules from a region of high concentration to area of low concentration without the use of energy and it is continue until equilibrium is reached now how does substances move through diffusion so there are two mechanisms one diffusion through the lipid matrix and other is diffusion through the channel protein okay. this this is the underlying mechanism simple diffusion through lipid matrix and number 2 is the through channel proteins so what is diffusion through lipid matrix we know that the lipid bilayer is uh, the cell membrane is lipid bilayer in nature so those substances which are lipophilic that is lipid in nature or hydrophobic that is uh, they are water insoluble non polar or uncharged substances for example oxygen carbon dioxide nitrogen fatty acid alcohol steroid hormones and others they simply when they come in contact with the lipid bilayer they just diffuse inside the membrane due to their lipid in nature then water as it is a small molecule with high kinetic energy it can also pass through the membrane and then urea it is a waste product okay. so it can also diffuse through the lipid bilayer no such thing is needed by these substances to cross the lipid bilayer the second those substances which are water soluble or which are larger in size than the cell membrane they move through channel protein ion diffuses through ion channels they are either open or gated what is open and gated channels just like our house gates okay they are open and or gated gated means closed okay they are protected so not all the times the channels are moving inside and outside when they when the time is required then the channels are open then the ion moves through it then the channels gets closed or gated when the channels are open we also call leak channels for example potassium channels some channels are open and we call them leak leak channels or leaky channels the example is the potassium channel gated channels open when stimulus is given okay they are closed some channels are open some are closed so open channels because they are open so they continuously causes the leakage of the ions but the gated channels how does they open they open when a stimulus is given and the stimulus can be in the form of voltage that is mechanical ligand that is chemical voltage is electrical gated channel requires a stimulus to get open so what can be the stimulus the stimulus can either be in the form of electric or chemical or mechanical so gating of protein channel protein channels are with the channels which are gated there are three types number one is a voltage gated the second is a ligand gated and then the mechano sensitive gating what is voltage gated i already told you they open and close in response to membrane potential that is electrical stimulus then ligand gated they open in response to a specific ligand that is a chemical binding to the ecf domain of the receptor protein so voltage gated are the electrical ones ligand gated are the chemicals one and other gating it can include indirect signaling mechano gated channels light gated channels and x so now what is voltage gated we have already told you it is voltage sensitive electrical conformational change in response to potential gradient when whenever there is a change in the 
electrical potential of the membrane conformational changes occur in these gate yeah in these channels specifically ions then they open and the ion is transported so important for excitable cells like neurons role in regulation of depolarization and repolarization re is missing neuron uses this type of channel proteins which are voltage gated it regulates the action potential in the membrane neuronal membrane during and they are distributed along the exons and soma of the neuron we will discuss this in nerve and muscle so voltage gated that are electrical sensitive or voltage sensitive and they are mostly present in the or they are used by the neurons example are voltage gated sodium channels voltage gated potassium channel and voltage voltage gated calcium now ligand gated that is chemically sensitive group of transmembrane ion channels that allow the passing of several ions upon the binding of specific chemical messengers like neurotransmitter when a, what are neurotransmitters these are chemical messengers okay whenever these are released they will bind to the ligand gated channels these uh, chemicals then cause conformational changes in the protein and it will open the protein channels and then the ions that will pass through them. So these type of gate channels or proteins, they have two domains. One is present in the ECF domain, including channel protein, extracellular domain, including the ligand binding site. Their function, conversion of presynaptic chemical signal quickly and effectively into post synaptic synaptic electrical signal. So they convert a presynaptic signal to a postsynaptic signal. These are present. The presynaptic, postsynaptic, these are the names of the membrane. Again, you will study them in nerve and muscle in detail. So ligand gated, they react to neurotransmitter. These are chemical messengers. Example is the acetylcholine channel. So simple diffusion, again, simple diffusion, the it is the movement of molecules from a region of high concentration to a low concentration without the use of energy. How they move either through the lipid membrane, which lipid soluble substances, they move across the membrane without the use of any energy or any protein or through channel proteins which are present in the membrane. These channel proteins, they consist of gates can be open. These channel protein can be open, which cause the leakage of ions or they can be gated that are they are closed and when a stimulus comes then they open and cause the movement of the so the stimulus can be in the form of electric voltage electric that is voltage gated ligand that is chemical or mechano sensitive gate. then examples of voltage gated and ligand gate. this was simple diffusion now comes facilitated diffusion as the name indicates facilitated means it is aided by something Sim specific proteins facilitate diffusion across the membranes simple diffusion does not needs any transporter but facilitated diffusion needs a transporter and that transporter is a protein we call them carrier protein they carry the molecule from which is transported for example from outside to inside again it does not uses any energy but it needs carrier protein it has two properties one is the specificity and other is the saturation specificity means carriers only act on specific substrate every carrier is specific for its substrate and saturation the rate of transport which leads to a maximum based on the number of the carrier proteins look at this diagram this is again a lipid bilayer this is lipid bilayer this is the substance which is to be transported for example inside the cell membrane this is the carrier protein this is the carrier protein this whole yellow thing is a carrier protein when a molecules come in contact with lipid bilayer, it attaches to the binding site of the carrier protein. When it acts or attaches to the binding site of the carrier protein, conformational changes occur and this ion is then transported inside the... So, facilitated diffusion is the transport of substances across the cell membrane with the help of carrier protein. No energy, but carrier protein and facilitated diffusion has two properties one is the specificity every carrier protein is specific for it for a substrate and number two is the saturation that what is saturation if all the carrier proteins are occupied and you inc still increase the number of transported molecules it will not increase the rate of diffusion rate of diffusion is limited in case of it is limited v max is the maximum rate of the carrier protein the density of carrier proteins in the membrane see this graph here we have concentration of the substance here we have the rate of diffusion so on the x-axis we have 
concentration of substance on the y axis we have rate of diffusion this is a comparison between the simple diffusion and facilitated diffusion so this blue line this is simple diffusion and this red line this is facilitated diffusion note that if we increase the concentration of the substance the rate of diffusion is increasing according to the concentration there is no limit to it increasing in case of simple diffusion increasing the rate of a substance will increase the rate of diffusion there is no limit but in case of facilitated diffusion initially if we increase the concentration of substance the rate of diffusion will increase but when it reaches to v max which is the maximum velocity further increasing the rate of concentration uh, further increasing the concentration of a substance will no longer increase the rate of diffusion because what what is the reason because all the carrier proteins are occupied and there are no more carrier proteins for the transport of substance so how can the rate of diffusion increase in simple diffusion we do not need any carrier protein so if we increase the concentration of the substance the rate of diffusion will increase but in case of facilitated diffusion we need a carrier protein and if the carrier protein is occupied then further increasing the uh, concentration of the substance the rate of diffusion will not increase this is a very important difference between the simple diffusion and facilitated diffusion again difference between the simple and facilitated diffusion both are against the concentration gradient but in simple there is no carrier protein whereas in facilitated there is carrier protein rate of diffusion it will increase with increase in concentration gradient but in facilitated it reaches to a plateau this thing okay this bend it will we call it plateau example ions through ion channels and facilitated example is glucose glut it is a transporter for glucose this is a example last is osmosis it is a type of passive transport osmosis is the movement of water molecules through a selectively permeable membrane or semi impermeable membrane like cell movement of water molecules is called osmosis water diffuses across a membrane from an area of high concentration to area of low concentration movement of water molecules from a area of high concentration to a area of low concentration is called osmosis okay this is the diagram we have a container okay in which water molecules are present at one side less water molecules are present and on the other side more water molecules are present so whenever this is a diagram showing the osmosis in one side we have divided into two parts in one part water molecule water content is more as compared to solute content and in the other part solute content is more and water content is less so the water will move we have said that whenever uh, water will move from a high concentration to a low concentration water diffuses across the membrane from an area sorry from a high concentration to a low concentration so here is less solute but more water here is more water but less solute water may move in according will move accordingly this was all about passive transport passive transport divided into uh, diffusion and facilitated diffusion okay simple diffusion does not need any energy facilitated diffusion although it does not need any energy but it needs carrier protein and then the osmosis